I'm Corey O'Leary, your neighborhood reporter, and right now I'm in Kernville at the incident command post for the Borel Fire. I'm here with Captain Andrew Freeborn, a public information officer on this fire. Now you can see behind us, this is the view from Kernville over Lake Isabella. You can see smoke currently from the Borel Fire. Now, Andrew, what's the response to this fire looking like right now? You know, the response right now is absolutely massive, and that is because this fire is burning with extreme fire behavior. As we stand here all the way across the lake, you've actually been able to see the flames this far away. That's how intense this fire is. So the number of resources that have been moved into the Burrell fire area is astonishing. The fire is skirting towards the east. So that's why we're able to see right now, we can actually see bodfish from where we're at and that's good. It's not good for the Soda Springs, Rocky Point, that direction. That is the direction the fire is heading. It's heading east. And so that's where the bulk of the firefighting is taking place, along that southern edge, along that northern edge, keeping it from coming into bodfish and doing everything that we can to protect those structures in Havila and ahead of that fire as it moves east. Okay, gotcha. And then can you tell me the current status of Caliente Bodfish Road? Absolutely, that road has now been closed and the, dy the situation is so dynamic that even as you and I were preparing for this interview, yet another zone, zone 747B, was moved from an evacuation warning to an evacuation order. So we encourage everyone in the community to be aware of what's going on, download the Genesis Protect app and allow the notifications for the zone that they live in. That way, if there's any change to warnings or orders, individuals will know instantaneously. Okay. And if you are evacuated, you can go to the Tehachapi Education Center or the Lake Isabella uh, Senior Center. Those will be two, two of the evacuation centers set up by the Red Cross. And again, we have evacuation orders for KRN 403A and 403B. KRN 736, 737, 738, and KRN 747B. So if you're in those areas, there are Red Cross shelters open to you.